Welcome to the Dragon Studio A. When entering the studio, open the working lights. You have three choices of backdrops that you can choose from. Full blue backdrop, partial blue and white, or full white backdrop, as well as the green screen. Slide the curtains gently. Don't pull or force anything. If the curtains are catching, slide them gently back and forth, which will free them and allow them to flow. The lights are powered in three stages, the background light, the subject light, and the fill light. The background light are the four red switches of the Kino power box. These activate the fluorescent tubes on the ceiling. For regular backgrounds, either dark blue or half blue and half white, you may need only one tube or none at all. For an all white background, between two and four tubes of light may be used to create what's called a whitewash. For the green screen, we recommend to use all four tubes of light. The second stage is the subject lighting found on the mixer. The ideal levels are as follows. The first three sliders should be activated at the levels shown here. Slider one, the key light, at 75%. Slider two, the backlight, at 100% and slider 3, the effect light, at 50%. You will not need the sliders 4, 5, and 6. You can just ignore these. Also, open the master slider to full. Finally, stage 3. The fill light is activated with the dimmer hanging on the bottom of the square LED panel. Insert your personal SD card into the camera card reader slot. Power on the camera by rotating the power switch. You may be required to format the card. To do so, just follow the on-screen instructions. Use the browser switch to travel up or down on the menu the center of the switch to accept, and wait for the process to be completed, then press OK. You are now ready to shoot. If you're alone, flip the screen around so you can see yourself. Press the record button on the right side of the camera, then set yourself facing the camera in the center of the gray silver square on the floor of the studio. Smile, take a deep breath, and begin your lecture or performance. The camera's been set up to record both your video image and the sound. When you're finished recording, just press the record button again to stop recording. To change the camera battery, press the release button and pull on the battery sideways. Find a fresh, fully charged battery on the charger and insert the battery into the slot and slide until you feel a click. Reset the power button to set the camera on standby. Press record again and set yourself in front of the camera to continue your performance. You should have a comfortable few inches of space over your head, called headroom. If you're too low in the shot, you can raise yourself up by using a section of the Apple Box. That's the name of this tool on professional sets. The Apple Box can be opened up and give you access to different sections of various sizes. You can use a 1 8 one quarter, half, or full apple box. Or you can combine them to create a three quarter or one and a half size riser. Stand comfortably on the box and check that your headroom is now correct. When you're done, reset the boxes as you found it with all the parts inside, close the box and set it aside. When recording, close the work lights they emit a buzzing noise that will pollute your sound. The work lights will also affect your image with a yellow-orange color that's not ideal and is very difficult to correct. Don't bring any food or hot beverages into the studio. Only bottles of water. If you do spill water anywhere, please pick it up immediately with the paper towel that's on the shelf of the studio. It's important that you do not move the reflectors 
or change any of the lighting positions or any of the other settings not mentioned in this video guide. Those are set to a standard position and any adjustment will compromise the image for the next user. Remember to take your SD card with you when you're done and close all the lights of the studio as well as the work lights. Make sure the door is properly locked behind you. Thank you for using the Dragon Studio and for leaving the place ready for the next user.